and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll show you how to install drives in the OWC Thunder Bay 4 external enclosure. We've already gathered our materials and are working on a soft static free surface. We're now ready to begin. The first thing we'll need to do is remove the front panel from the Thunder Bay. Simply insert the key that came with the Thunder Bay into the lock on the front and turn it clockwise. You should then be able to angle the front panel forward, then lift it up and out. Remove each of the drive trays by first loosening the thumb screw at the top all the way, then using it to pull the tray out. For three and a half inch drives, there are a total of six screw holes, three on each side. These will line up with the six holes on the side of the tray. Set the drive into the tray, then secure it with six of the slightly thicker hard drive screws included with the Thunder Bay. For two and a half inch drives, such as many SSDs, the four mounting holes on the bottom of the drive line up with the corresponding holes on the bottom of the tray. All you need to do here is align the holes and use four of the slightly smaller included screws to secure it in place. Once you've secured all the drives in the trays, you can slide the trays back into their respective slots and secure them by tightening the thumb screw. Finally, slide the front cover into place so that the pegs in the lower part go into the slots on the enclosure. Then, lean it up so it lays flush against the front and turn the key counterclockwise to lock it in place. Your OWC Thunder Bay 4 is now ready to format and use.